What's up, everybody? This is my kitty cat, Theodore. Sometimes I call him Ashy because he kind of he's gray and black, so he's kind of ashy. I don't know. He is uh, seven, eight months old. Uh, he was born in September. He. You know how to show a maker dealer? No, you're, you're beautiful. Yeah, you're beautiful. Look, you're beautiful, dealer. Yeah. Who's that? It's you. Yeah. You wanna go over there and play? You wanna go over there and play with Max? Yeah, okay. And this is our female cat, Kita. Kita, named after. Uh, so, cat in Spanish is gato, and then. Female cat is Gata, so Kira. She is the same age as Theodore. Uh, I'm not sure if they're related. Oh, very sharp. Oh, she has really sharp nails. I'm not sure if they're related, but I'm pretty sure that they are because whenever they showed up, they showed up at the backyard at the same place uh, around the same time, and they're both. Uh, they both. We're the same size. So, oh, <laughs> she grips onto my, on my, my um shoulder, and she goes like that. And then she grabs onto you, and then she lay, she lets go, and then she's still clotting you. Like, she's pretty crazy. Mm. She, she is spayed, believe it or not. Uh, I was reading a lot of reviews and they were saying that usually hold on I just realized I have the air on so I was reading some reviews and they were saying that female cats could get pregnant at four months old and then uh, she ended up not getting pregnant I was kind of scared that she would get pregnant but she didn't because um the other and her were gonna hit puberty at the same time they were both gonna she was gonna start her period and then the other was gonna start his his thing where he starts to want to make sweet love so I'm happy that we caught it on time and she didn't get pregnant or I was I don't know I just don't know how I would feel because it is already hard work especially taking care of the kitty, kitty litter it is hard work to to manage all that and now just imagine four more cats that would be and on top of that I'm pretty sure that my parents would have said that like, we should give them away but I wouldn't know how to feel about giving them away to people or not knowing what happened with them so yeah so gonna be kinda on time we do also have two dogs one of them is a chihuahua what's up everybody this is my dog Mrs. Dalalaila Rarararara she's a chihuahua she is about six six years old Six, seven years old, give or take. And the other one is a breed that I have we we never known. This is Maximus. He's gonna be four years old on August third. He's a handful. He's a handful. This is my baby boy. This is my pride and joy. <laughs> so, uh, my dog Max. Every time back then we used to see a cat outside, he would chase it. Um, he still every time he sees a cat out, a cat outside, he chases it. And I was kind of worried that he was gonna do the same to this cat, but he doesn't chase. I mean, sometimes when they're running, he chases them, but not to attack. He just kind of scares them a little bit.
And then my other dog, Delilah, she, she's old. I mean, she's not, she's not old, old, but she's old. She's old to the point where every time she wakes up, she kind of have a hard time trying to like stay up with her legs, with her arms. But yeah, you can already tell that the old Lord, he's gonna be really lazy. Uh, he sleeps for hours and he wants to eat all the time when he was a baby every time he would get hungry he would cry and he still does the same thing he, he meows every time he's hungry like we keep his food by the back door and every time we walk over there he like goes in between your legs like trying to stop you so that you can give him food Yeah, having cats, it's, it's more expensive than having dogs, especially because it's kitty litter, and then it's their food, and they like to eat all day, and they don't, they're not overweight, but they do kind of eat, I want to say about four or five times a day, and before y'all say that's too much, I don't put it a lot, it's just like a little... A little sprinkle on the plate. One thing that they don't like is going outside and I am perfectly fine with that because I wouldn't want them to go outside and get lost or get hurt. So yeah, I'm more I'm like super happy that they don't like to go outside. Every single time when I'm acting that I'm gonna take them outside, they just claw me and then they jump. They jump out of me and then go back inside, so that's awesome.